That true, Andy. Of course, we're talking about parent-teacher interviews. And as parents, of course, we want to make sure our kids are thriving in school and getting the most out of their time there. Our chance to get an update on how the children are doing, of course, is during those parent-teacher interviews, which can be quite short. So we need to make the most of that time. So here with some advice on how to tackle your FaceTime with the teacher is Gail Bell from Parenting Power and one of her regular billets. Thank you so much for coming, Gail. Thanks for having me. So let's get right to it. So what are some of the most important things that parents can do to prepare for these parent-teacher interviews? Well, what we hear most often is they're so short we don't have any time to talk so right. and you know reality is they are short so yeah. be prepared yeah. I always encourage parents to talk to their kids they and say is there anything you want us to ask the teacher or is there anything you want to tell me because I don't want any surprises at that interview so this is their opportunity to share knowledge back and forth um, parents prepare make a list of questions yeah. that you want to know you, you know lots of schools are now using great tools like D2L where you yeah. can go on and you can see what they've done for the older kids what their marks are so they're honestly there shouldn't be any surprises. There shouldn't be, should there? No. I know I certainly, when I go into my parent-teacher interviews, I have that list, as you've mentioned. Great. Good and then you. I also, like, I will circle things that I want to make sure that I get an answer to, because sometimes mm -hmm. the teacher is so distracted, she's got a lot she wants mm -hmm. to cover, too. Mm -hmm. But if there's something that's really important to me, I will highlight it on my list to make I sure think, we get to it. I think that's fantastic. Or say, you know, before I leave, there's two things yes. that are really important. Yes. And, you know, and go from, and there. Go from there. Wonderful. What are your thoughts on taking the kids? Well, there's pros and cons to everything, isn't yeah. there? So some sometimes, you know, it's great to have the child there because it's not we we want to see that we're working with the child, right? Right. So um, there should be no secrets. And if the child doesn't go, I really encourage parents to make sure you follow up with the child at home and say, here's what's working well, right. and here's what's not working well. Right. And that's the other thing, you know, be really open-minded. Your teacher wants your child to succeed right. just as much as you do. Right. But right. be prepared to hear some good things about their strengths and their weaknesses and what they right. need to work on, because we all have things we need to work on. And, and, and take that as positive feedback, constructive criticism right. to move forward. To move forward. To yeah. move forward. Absolutely. Do you do you expect the teacher is actually going to be completely honest with you? I mean, are, oh, that's a really I, honest question, right? I sometimes wonder if they are, you know, sugarcoating things to make me happy. Oh, that's that's a great question. Well, I think that if a conversation again at the beginning, say, I, I am seeing this. Right. Or, you know, please be honest with me because right. we are a very open and honest family and we want the best for, for our child. Right. So if they should be reading at this level and they're not, we want to work with our, you know, in the earlier grades, we want to work with them. Or in uh, junior high, we're covering a broad span here. Sure. You know, are they being respectful? And, and if they're not, are they looking at their phones? I want to know because we will support you at home right. because that, that is important to us. You know, kids are, we know the frontal lobe development, the biggest, biggest area we can help as parents is on time management and organization. Yeah. So please, if there's one thing you can do at home, make a plan around what, what the expectations are and then review that weekly. Right. Sometimes you have to it. review it daily. Every day, yeah. But absolutely. you know, as they get over. And really quickly, I just wanted to ask, is it okay to ask questions about how the kids are doing socially? So outside of the academics, how are they doing with friends and peers in their classroom? I think it's a very fair question because we go to school almost just as much for social skills, for sure, sure in the younger grades as we do for academic skills. Just be careful you don't um, get other, you know, bring up specific children. Stay focused on your child. Right, right. What are they doing well? What do, what do they need to improve right. on? And then, you know, if there's an issue, make a plan. Do not leave that meeting without a follow-up plan. Write it down because I we do. know what gets yeah. measured gets managed. That's so Measured and managed. Yes. I love it. Yep. Yes. Take notes. That's what I do too. <laughs> yes. I take notes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Lots of fantastic tips as usual. Things to keep in mind for the next parent-teacher interview. Let's get